Hello, Giants fans. Welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. It is a very bad situation that the Giants find themselves in. And we continue, just from year to year, we continue to hear every offseason and every trade deadline that it's going to be big and the Giants are going to to do a ton to make themselves a better team. And it, it never happens. And that, that is what we are hearing from year to year. And it is, it, it is, is just getting super old. And where the Giants are right now, it's, it's, it's just, if, if they don't add to their roster, and I'm, I'm not at all saying there aren't further opportunities to do so, but it is really hard to think that they could possibly be a playoff team as they would be right now if the season started today. They did end up signing Jung Hu Lee to, to a six-year deal. And, I mean, given Lee's tools and everything, there is every reason to think that he's going to be a good player at the major league level. But the Dodgers, the Dodgers added on the, the two players that the Giants were most of all hoping to get, Shohei Otani and Yoshinobu Yamamoto. And, and by the way, on, on Yamamoto... It's, it's, it's just been a, a very recent kind of general consensus in the media. The Giants front office did everything they possibly could to get him and can't be blamed for not doing so. It, it's not just one credible source that's saying that. It, it's, it's, it's really all over the place when you hear about it that there was, there was nothing more that could have been done and, and w whether you're talking financially or, or just making the making the Giants that the Giants making themselves look like an attractive team to play for that they just they did everything right and there was there was just nothing more that they could do about it it, it seems like that is what people think and and honestly I I don't I, I don't know that I have anything that I could say against that but what the reason I find that hard to believe is just that the Giants front office has not established credibility in the past. Like, because we just had a trade deadline where, where Farhan Zaidi came out and said the Giants would shop at the top of the market and, and be very aggressive. And it's, there, there's no doubt that he meant that, but at the end of the day, could they get it done? No, they they traded for AJ Pollock and Mark Mathias of all people. Not only did they contribute absolutely nothing on the field for the Giants, but they were on the injured list for the vast majority of the remainder of the season. You trade for two guys to to be professional occupiers of a spot on the injured list. And we we've got just everything before that too. Last off season, last trade deadline, it it, it just and, and as you look at more examples, it just does not get better. So that is why I don't automatically say, okay, they they tried, they did everything they they possibly could, even though that's what people are saying. And and that I I mean it it's it seems like it could in a sense be true that this time the, the Giants did go all in on Yamamoto. It's 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 just it's it's hard to it's really hard to give them the benefit of the doubt just given what history has been like and especially this most recent trade deadline. And it it's it's a fact that that Logan Webb is has been kind of trying to calm everybody down because he he just tweeted I, I don't know exactly when he did, but Logan Webb tweeted, speaking of Yamamoto, he wanted to be a Dodger from the beginning. It's all good. And let me say right now that I'm not at all being hard on Webb because it's certain that he did everything that that he could to grab Yamamoto. He, he spent some time with him and they, I mean, they, they went places. He, he, he just played a very proactive role in in trying to get Yamamoto introduced to the Giants and, and giving him a positive impression. So I, I, I have to say I'm I'm not I'm not being hard on Logan Webb and I, I, I because I think he 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 really stepped up and, and did his share to try to recruit Yamamoto to the Giants. But as far as what he said, he he wanted to be a Dodger 
from the beginning, it, it's, I mean, I, I know he doesn't like literally mean that to be true, but in a sense that, that just, just sounds like to me, it doesn't make any sense. That does it make any sense to you? He, the, the giants thought he was a very viable option for them, that there was a very realistic chance they could get him from the beginning. And it, and, and I feel like in their pursuit of Otani, they, they were a little bit, a, a, a little bit slacker on their pursuit of Yamamoto. And I can understand why I can see why, but, but the goal from the beginning should have been to sign both of them. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not able to come up with strong evidence that the giants didn't do their, their thing. But I, I will certainly say that, that what, what Webb said about it, it being all good is not true because it is not all good. It is all bad. And the giant, the giants find themselves in a situation where they have to compete against the Dodgers who are in, in their division and what, what realistically can stop the Dodgers from, from winning the division in 2024? What, what, what realistically can do that? I, I don't see anything. And that, that would probably apply to the, the few years after that too, if, if you're really being honest. And of, of course, you're probably thinking like, there, there's, a, there's always gonna be the, this question now of should 2024 be a rebuild year for the Giants? But evidently their rebuild years do not work because they are not able to get them into the playoffs. And that that is the only real definition of success in this game. So no, 2024, it can't be a rebuild year. And and I would hope that if it was, that that fans would 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 kind of catch on to this and and maybe maybe they could, they could learn, they would learn something from, from diminished attendance. They, they would learn that there are certain things that just don't work out. Even now, 2024 has to be a contending year and there are still available free agents on the board that might make it possible, even if it realistically is only in a wild card spot. But if, if that's what any of you are wondering, no, 2024 can absolutely cannot be a rebuild year because it is 2024. And if they, if if that if, if it didn't work out in 2017, rebuilding in 20, 2017 didn't work out. Is, is it going to work out now? No. 2024, they they have to go for it in 2024, and nothing is going to change that. And I would hope that this means I I would sincerely hope that as as far as thinking of signing Cody Bellinger, I I, I hope it's not going to be a thing that well we already have an outfielder now, or certainly that like it'd be like the worst thing ever if Mitch Haniger and Michael Conforto were going to to take a potential spot away from Bellinger because are they experienced outfielders yeah did have do the have the Giants sign them to big contracts yeah have they performed no they have not and that answer to the third question is is the only thing that that, that has any credibility with a team that is trying to make the playoffs. So you've got to get what you can get. And Cody Bellinger is, is way better than, than a guy like Matt Chapman. They, they have to, to shop at the, at the top of the market here. And there is nothing that should stop them from, from even pursuing Bellinger. Although, as I mentioned, they, they've, they've got to add pitching somehow. So, so that, that's where, they stand honestly, and I, I, I just at the end of the day, I just hope they're they're growing out of this, being able to rely on underperforming veterans thing, and that includes underperforming rookies as well. I, I, I hope that at some point they grow out of this, and if if they do, we should see a change in the way that they that they shop for talent. So to sum everything up, at the end of the day, I'm not saying I, I'm I'm not saying I can provide evidence that they didn't. They didn't do their job. It's it's just hard for me to to accept the explanation when there's been just no no possible justifiable explanation for some things that have happened in the past. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.